Oh, hello, sheep. Would you like to see some potion effects? I bet you would. <laughs> Die. Die, sheep. Die to antimatter. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there again. It is I, Shepard Chong, and this is another episode of Abyssal Craft is Kind of Awesome. In this episode, we are going to be covering potions and enchantments. Uh, there are a couple of types of potions added to this mod. Uh, added by this mod, I should say. Uh, getting my grammar mixed up. I do that quite a bit, if you haven't noticed. Um, I will say that one of the types of potions we're not going to get into for another couple dimensions, I think it is, because you don't have the available materials yet in the overworld. Uh, ignore those balls, they're from another mod. Uh, just another interesting form of terrain generation with the uh, Abyssal Highlands there. Anyway, on to the potions first. These are the Potions of Annihilation. These potions will inflict the antimatter status effect on whoever drinks it. So, uh, if you drink it, you kill yourself. Yay! Uh, fortunately for you, you can turn it into splash potions, uh, like these, with, guns, with some gunpowder. Uh, if you don't know about brewing stands, I really recommend you just look up some vanilla Minecraft stuff, because yeah, that's basic knowledge. Same with uh, strength making potions uh, longer. The basic form is a minute 30. Souped up form is four minutes. There is no more powerful versions. Uh, and the splash potions are a minute and seven seconds and three minutes. Now how do you make it? Um, yeah, that uh, lightning strike? That was on those things there. Ignore that, even if it was very surprising. So how do you make the Potions of Annihilation? You need rotten anti-flesh, which you get by killing anti-zombies in the Corallium Infused Swamp, which is where we currently are. Uh, at the moment, I do not believe any of the other anti-materials you can get will work for this potion. I could be wrong. That might be implemented in the future. I'm not sure. I won't say anything to confirm or deny. But how do you how do you how does it used? Well you can use rotten anti-flesh on an aqua potion just like normal potions and you get the potion of annihilation. You could also use it on these the potions of Corallium Plague which are over there. Those are the statues again. Ignore them. You use a rotten anti-flesh on the potions of Corallian Plagues, you will get the potions of Annihilation. It works on both the normal strength, normal, normal length, length, normal length potion, and the longer length potion. Yeah. Those statues of four, uh, spawning there was really inconvenient. And now the potion of Corallium Plague. You need Corallium Plagued Flesh or the Corallium Plagued Flesh on a Bone. Either works. You get them from Abyssal Zombies and Death Ghouls, respectively. Wow, that is really annoying. I know. You know what? Give me a second. I gotta get rid of them. Well, now that that little annoyance is out of the way, back to the potions. You can use the Corallian Plague Flesh and the Corallian Plague Flesh on a Bone as a sort of a replacement for Nether Wart. You can use it on a, with a water bottle and get awkward potions. It's useful, especially if you haven't been to the Nether yet. Uh, not anyway. You can, some of the in some cases it is actually easier to get the Corallian Plague Flesh than the Nether Wart. You'll see that in the next dimension. <laughs> Anyway, you use the Corallian Plague Flesh, or the one on a bone, 
on an awkward potion, and you get the basic correct potion of Corallium Plague. And again, if you use uh, gunpowder on them, you get the splash potions. And again, they come in the longer duration versions, not more powerful versions. I believe I went over it in another episode, but if, just to remind you, Potion of Corallium Plague basically works a lot like poison. It does one heart of damage per tick. Uh, and again, when it lasts for a minute and 30 or 4 minutes, that's fairly effective. Um, especially if you did something foolish like me and put in the Minecraft Reloaded, uh, the Mine, Mine Factory Reloaded mod, which means you can't drink milk buckets to get rid of status effects anymore. Yeah, a little word of warning for you if you're using mods. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Uh, and the antimatter effect, which you saw in the first episode when I went into the liquid antimatter. Uh, the liquid, the, uh, sorry, I had to make a cut there. The potion of annihilation gives you the antimatter effect, which kills you fast. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be demonstrating these in a bit, by the way. Uh, so anyway, yeah. And of course, this there is no difference between the potions of the Corallian Plague created through the plague flesh on a bone or just the normal flesh. So that's it for the uh, potions you can get in the overworld. There is one other set of potions you can get, but you, that requires materials from another one of the dimensions. And we'll talk about that then. Now, on to the enchantments. So there are... Four enchantments added to by the Abyssal Craft mod. And they are Corallium 1. Corallium only has one level of enchantment. Basically, when you enchant into something, which I'll demonstrate in just a second, the Corallium effect inflicts the Corallium plague on whatever you hit it with. It's sort of like poison, again. Uh. Now, the second one it adds is Dread 1. The Dread effect inflicts the Dread Plague on whatever it hits. Uh, the Dread Plague is uh, something that you probably won't encounter until uh, the, the second dimension, which is also has to do with the other potion, you can, the other type of potion you can get. However, Corallium and Dread are both enchantments you can get at any time. You don't have to be in a specific dimension to get those enchantments. So, even though you won't actually encounter the Dread Plague for a while, you can still get it on a weapon. Which is fun. And the, uh, the other weapon enchantment is called Light Pierce. Unlike the others, Light Pierce has up to five different enchantment levels. Light Pierce is an interesting one. It's sort of like the Bane of Arthropods and the Smite effect, where it only specific effect. <laughs> Tongue tied. It only affects a specific type of mod. I said mod again. A specific type of mob. In this case, the Light Light Pierce only affects a specific type of mod, and that is the Shadow Mobs. Those were the shadow creatures, the shadow monsters, and the shadow beasts that spawn in the Darkland Mountains. This is basically an easier way to kill them since they have a lot of HP. And they hit hard. So, if you can get that, cool, you got an easier time killing them. And now the fourth type of enchantment is called Iron Wall. There's only one level of enchantment for it, so, and again, you can get it at any time. It's an armor, an armor enchantment. Yes. <laughs> uh, Iron Wall is basically anti-knockback. Uh, well, actually, yeah, that uh, that sums it up pretty well, doesn't it? It's anti-knockback. It gets rid of knockback effects from enemy hits. So yeah, so... What happens if I hit sheep with these? You're gonna see... You're gonna see after I take off the armor that damages mobs. <laughs> Corallium. You see the uh, light blue particle effects? That's the Corallium Plague. And now for the Dread effect. 
See so these red particle effects? That's the Dread Plague. Oh, and there's an effect I didn't mention. <laughs> it's possible when something dies from the Dread Plague, it will turn into these little things. The Dread Spawn. Ooh, I totally forgot to mention these, this effect. Yeah, you won't normally encounter these until you get to the second dimension. And, uh, they drop this. Dread Fragments. Um. Oh, and I should mention that those guys, if they hit you, can inflict the Dread Plague. So, you know, watch out for that. Okay, so if you remember from the uh, mob video, the Shadow Beast has 100 HP, 100 HP, and the uh, Diamond Sword, a normal Diamond Sword, did 8, eight, eight damage to it. Yes, just 8. Tongue-tied. So what happens if we've got Light Pierce 5 on a Golden Sword? It just did 17 damage. Yeah, Light Pierce 5 is... Not exactly an easy enchantment to get unless you're in creative, but again, some it does a good bit of damage. Yeah, it's effective. Okay, so that's about it for potions and enchantments that you can get in the overworld. The next video is going to be about these things down here that were making those annoying lightning effects that were so darn loud and it kept happening. These are Shagath monoliths and I will tell you that they were not here when I was building that platform. The next video is going to be about them, how they appear, their effects, and what they can use. you can use them for, as well as the other things involved with it. It's going to be a long episode. In fact, it's probably going to be so long, I may have to end up breaking it up into two to make it less than half an hour. Yeah, look forward to that on the next episode of Abyssalcraft is Kind of Awesome. Bloopers! Well, that, now that that little annoyance is out of the way, back to the potions. You can use the Corallium Plague Flesh and the Corallium Plague Flesh on a Bone in an effect kind of like Netherrack. You could, Netherrack? The, um... Son of a bitch. Damn it, I'm starting over again because I can't remember the item. 